good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, Crip Walk Music. So guys, I just got informed about last night, this particular TikTok video that is going viral amongst the black internet. And it comes from a particular young lady by the name of Danny 2Q. I believe that is the sister's name, Danny D2Q. And, and like I said, she's a very, very attractive young lady, right? And she went to a singles mixer, all right? I don't know where this was. And only women showed up. Now, we can't play her video because it has a copyright song by, with Tyrese in it. Um, but if you can look at it, the women didn't look too bad. They looked very attractive. And there was no men there in the, at this mixer. And the reason is for many, and we'll discuss this. Rewind, Demo! Let's go back to 2015. A particular YouTuber was discussing this situation by the name of Obsidian Mumia Ali. You guys know him here as the Obsidian Media Network. He has the voice of the everyday brother. And he was talking about this sort of pandemic of black women going to these mixers to meet, meet black men. And black men were just not interested in showing up. Now, you wonder, like, why would that happen? Be, you know, think about that. Like, black men love to go to see where women at, right? Because, you know, that one saying, like, where the hoes at, nigga? Like, we, we love to see where the women are at right no no disrespect but that's just a saying in the hood um we like to go to the clubs we want to go to outings and concerts because women are there um but the issue is that black men who have participated in these mixers um find out some things uh and and that is is that most of the women that are at these mixers are not going to be interested in these particular black men who are the black men the average black man okay the women at these mixers are going to have uh, the same super, um, you know, like I said, super motivated, super entitled standards. They're going to be looking for guys who are six foot five, six foot four, um, four hundred thousand dollars a year. It's equivalent to a black women going to the church looking for that kind of God sent man. And so what's going to happen is, is that a lot of black men used to go to these things and then they would find out that, you know, very few went, very few of the men were the ones that these ladies desire. Okay. So you may have like 80 guys come to the mixer and you might have 200 women. And then you may have one guy that might leave with three phone numbers because those women were not interested. So a lot of black men started to realize that these mixers were actually a waste of time. It was much better to, you know, save your money um and go to things like tinder uh match.com facebook you know you name it or just go talk to chicks in the streets and you'll get that so that's one of the one one reasons i learned from obsidian but secondarily we just got to be honest black men have found other options that's something that we don't want to talk about but it has to be talked about and again this is coming from somebody from the pan-african community i'm a staunch if you want to say my personal life b1 i don't really talk about it a lot here on this channel but if you've watched me on my ken Ghana youtube channel then you would know I, I i can sometimes get real deep in over there um and then like i said me and the other brothers in the community we try to talk about uh what's going on in the black world all the time and what we've seen is that a lot of brothers have experienced different levels of treatment from other ladies what what does that mean that means that a lot of ladies come to these mixers uh, most likely are educated, uh, most likely over 35. So these are women who are having trouble finding men in their own respective uh, professions. And uh, so the minute they would be interested in, um, I've already found a community of women that they can talk to. And these men have already, already believe that the women that they are dealing with right now are gonna treat them much better than these women at these mixers. Meaning that you have some brothers who might date in the Pan-African community. What does that mean? That means you're dealing with women that are Ghanaian American, Ethiopian American, Ethiopian immigrants that come over to America, Caribbean, 
American. And you will find that these women are much younger. These women um, have some more traditional values. And these women are not going to be competing for the man uh, with the with a sort of a masculine attitude. What tends to happen at, at, at these mixers, from what I've been told, a lot of these women are really professional. They may have a kid or two. And uh, their mindset towards relationship is not that of compromise. And again, I, I, I want to talk about um, um, brother fo- from Focus on Liberia, brother by the name of uh, Leo uh, over there. He says uh, this about in, in general. What do you expect from anything you do in life as a result of your participation? And I want to talk about that because it's very, very true. Women at these mixers believe that they're going to show up. Some man's going to just choose them and it's going to go from there. But what do they expect from the relationship as a result of her participation? And what we're finding out as we get deeper and deeper into this black love issue is that a lot of black women expect that things are going to be handed to them um, irrespective of their attitude, irrespective of what they look like or what they have um, in the background. And because they are them and they have went to college or they can take care of a kid by themselves, that qualifies them to have a good relationship when that has nothing to do with her participation in the relationship with the black man. So what does she expect as a result of her participation? Many of these ladies are not trying to participate in trying to improve a man's quality of life or to be a good mate. They're looking at it only from what they can get from the situation. And so what happens when these black men who are wildly talented, who have experienced Uh, a multitude of different cultures, maybe have went to different universities and lived in different cities. They look at these mixers as a joke because they don't need to go to them. Most black men in the middle class, depending on what city they live in, don't need to go to mixers, uh, especially brothers in the upper middle class because they're already taken. Many black men have a lot of opportunities. The world is not what it used to be. Many black women are competing with the world. God forbid you live in New York City, you live in Atlanta, um, you live in cities like Philadelphia, you live in cities like Memphis, uh, Detroit, where you have a conglomerate of different ladies there that can compete for a brother that's doing very well. You're competing against the world. So most brothers are not going to mixers because why? They can already get what they want. The women at the mixers can't get what they want and guys just don't want to show up because it's a waste of their time. It's a waste of their time, a waste of their money. And guys will, you know, if they can see you out in the, uh, out in the streets or something like that at the gas station, it's okay, but they're not going to do it. And really what we're seeing is a decline in the interest of black men towards black women. And it has a lot to do with the competition coming from other parts of the world. And it's just really, it's economics. You have demand and supply and black men have a lower supply. The ones that are really talented in the women um, are in a lot of supply. And if you're a guy that's in the upper 20%, 25% of America, you you don't have a lot to worry about when you're talking about dealing with a mate. You just don't. And that's why these sisters are at these mixers by themselves. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.